Africa's push for global vaccine equity has received a major boost after six shipping containers from the German-based firm BioNTech landed in the Rwandan capital on Monday. They are carrying materials that can be used to produce up to 50 million doses of COVID vaccines per year and conduct trials on new treatment for malaria, tuberculosis, HIV and various types of cancer. BioNTech also plans to ship similar containers to Senegal and South Africa. The vaccines produced in the Africa-wide network will go to people living in member states of the African Union. CGTN's Ethan uh, Tashobia witnessed the delivery of the BioNTainers and filed this report from Kigali. On Monday afternoon, a chartered giant Antonov cargo plane carrying Biotech's first six Biotainers touched down at Kigali International Airport. Officials present at the airport applauded its arrival before the first shipping container was loaded onto a waiting cargo truck to be transported to Kigali's industrial park where the German pharmaceutical company Biotech is setting up its own manufacturing base. This moment has been described as historic by involved parties and observers. Like you said, it's not something for Rwanda, it's not something for Africa, it's, it's beyond, it's something for the humanity so that we are ready. Uh, for the next uh, pandemic, for the next threat, that we have tools that will help us to stop it. And we should not have tools at one part of the world, we should have it uh, in all parts of the world, especially here where we didn't have solutions and tools when they were needed. Biotech's drug manufacturing substances and formulas arrived in Rwanda exactly three years since the first case of COVID-19 was detected in the East African country. From that moment, the African Union, through Africa Center for Disease Control, embarked on a quest to start making mRNA vaccines in Africa for the very first time. Rwanda, South Africa and Senegal took up the challenge at first hand. The first phase of the program will be in Rwanda. The next step is to ship similar containers to Senegal and South Africa. Officials say the vaccines produced in the Africa-wide network will go to people living in the African Union member states and are expected to improve access to better health care across the continent. So we built this to deploy it very quickly. And I think the first time, it, it even takes a little bit longer. Yeah, but after that, once the processes are aligned with the African Union and we, saw, we see that there is a pure vaccine coming out of this and the quality is okay, then I think you can even speed it up for other countries. For a very long time, Africa has decried unfair distribution of medical technologies and very recently, the hoarding of vaccines during the devastating COVID-19 pandemic season. There is a general feeling that having such infrastructure that is needed to roll out the first mRNA vaccines production facility in Africa is a big step in the right direction in the so-called global cooperation. With its state-of-the-art manufacturing facility in Kigali, Biotech believes it can produce up to 50 million vaccine doses per year and also conduct trials on new therapeutics for malaria, tuberculosis, HIV and cancer. This continent contributes only 2% of the scientific output, especially clinical trials, only 2%. With all the disease burden that we have here, infectious and non-infectious diseases that are preventable, sometimes with vaccines and therapeutics, having this... Um, this setup, this partnership, is going to help close that big gap from 2% maybe to 10% or 20% of research, scientific output from here, from Africa, from Rwanda. For Africa to be better prepared to handle another health crisis, access to equitable technologies in healthcare have been identified as the key enablers to do so. With the arrival of biotech technologies, the African continent and especially people here in Kigali believe that the continent is now better prepared to handle any future crisis. Eastern Tashobia for CGTN, Kigali, Rwanda.